All right, everyone, take one for the day. Um, this Mazda's come from another workshop. It's got a slightly high idle, and it was, um, how do you say, surging at idle. So when they put it into reverse or drive, it would start to bump up and down from sort of 1,000 to 2,000 RPM. Um, it's just had a motor fitted to it, so I believe it's most likely just gonna need an idle relearn. Um, we're gonna do a full fault report. I can't hear any vacuum leaks in the engine bay. It sounds pretty good. So full fault report, idle relearn, that should bump the RPM down a little bit and get it all leveled out and happy. All right, so manual idle relearn on the Mazda. Um, no faults are set. I can see all the throttle body data pids and accelerator pedal pids and everything look good. So I'm not worried about anything mechanical at this stage. We just want to do an idle relearn and see how we go. Um, hard battery reset, so battery terminal off for 10 minutes, back on, and then we're going to have ignition on for one minute, turn the ignition off, then we're gonna go ignition back on and let the car idle for five minutes with no load, so no air conditioning or nothing on. After five minutes, we'll put the AC on, load the engine up a little bit more and let it idle for another five minutes. After that, if everything's all smooth, then this one's job done. Um, no scans will needed for the Mazdas. We can do it all manually. So got the battery terminal off now and then we're gonna finish off the procedure. All right, so battery's reconnected. We're gonna hop in the car. We're gonna put the ignition on and set a timer for one minute. So. Grab the key, just ignition on, start our timer, and then after a minute, we're gonna come back, turn the ignition off, let it sit, and then we'll start it up, let it idle, and get up to temperature. All right, so we've started the vehicle. It's already idling better. It's come under 1,000 RPM, as you can see. Um, we're gonna let this sit and idle for five minutes, let it get up to temperature, so we'll set another timer. Then after that, I'm gonna let it idle for another five minutes with the air conditioning on, take it for a short drive, and it should be job done. All right, just about to close the bonnet on the Mazda, and I think it may have actually had a throttle body replaced. I don't know if that's from when they um, put the wrecker motor in it or what happened, but we have got wrecker part numbers on there, so anyway. All right, so uh, Mazda all sorted. I've got the air conditioning on now. It's been 10 minutes all up. So five minutes AC on, five minutes off. As you can see, that is all good. It's still idling under 1,000 RPM. We've got no hesitation or anything. So proper procedure um, and it's all sorted. Happy days.